In the latter part of the 18th century, when Mozart wrote his horn concertos for his uh, lifelong friend Josef Leutkeb, um, the horn had changed considerably from how it had been at the beginning of the century. Uh, the Baroque horn, from the early part of the century, uh, tended to be made in one loop, uh, in one fixed key. It had a small bell, was played with the hand out of the bell, and the notes that were available to the player tended to lie very high up as, as the harmonics got closer together, high up. That's where they all were in order to be able to play tunes. And with minimal adjustment, either with the hand or the lip, uh, it was possible to get a reasonable series of notes out. Now this all began to change around the middle of the 18th century and horns started to develop. Uh, the bells became bigger and the, the hand was often put in the bell, but more of that later. Uh, they started appearing with tuning slides so that it was easier to adjust the pitch to play with other instruments. And uh, one of the other big changes was that they were made much more often with terminal crooks, that's to say a lead pipe um, a varying length which could be put on at the beginning of the horn and would make it play in different keys. Now these changes began to be reflected in the kind of music that composers wrote for the horn. Um, initially um, there was no need to make very many adjustments. The use of the hand in the bell um, allowed not only subtle tuning differences but it meant that certain notes which were very intransigent could be brought better into tune by either covering with the hand or taking the hand out of the bell but most significantly, it was possible by moving the hand around uh, to open up the middle register of the horn, which is something that hadn't been done before. Really, in the middle octave of the horn, there are only four available notes um, on the open pitches. And now by moving the hand around, it's possible to gain a fully chromatic octave. Although this was quite an innovation for the horn, being able to play in the middle register more fully now, it also created slight problems of timbre, because the notes which are played with the hand um, are either uh, more covered and stopped, sometimes quite nasal, and the ones which played with the hand more out of the bell are, are very much more boomy and stick out. Uh, so the big problem for both composer and performer is how to integrate these very different flavoured notes into something that still, is still satisfying musically. This is a copy made by John Webb of a Bohemian instrument from around 1800 by Franz Storr. Uh, it's possible that it may be a little bit later and more developed than the one which uh, Leutgeb, the original performer, used. We, we don't know. The horn was in such a uh, varied state of development um, that it's very difficult to say with any certainty uh, whether he would have been at the forefront of instrumental development or would have been reactionary, but it's possible that he might have played it on a slightly smaller instrument, maybe even without a tuning slide. I'm afraid we just don't know. However, we can say with certainty that this was the type of instrument that Mozart was writing for, a natural instrument without valves, where the player has to achieve the notes written in the part by manipulating the hand in the bell, producing lots of different tones.